Yeah, right, guys, just a quick one before we start the episode. I want to apologise really for the quality of the last one and this one. Technical issues have gotten away. At times, the screen is completely, really unusable. Um, to be honest with you, this one's more like an audio book at times when the match is on. So it may be a tough watch, but I'm entertaining in terms of my voice because I lose my call a couple of times. So you'll enjoy that. Um, I'm going to have it fixed pretty soon. I think the match engine is too tough on the laptop, which is probably about right because I shouldn't be recording on it really. Um, I'm going to change it to 2D and keep the replays on 2D as well from the future. So hopefully that will fix it. But on to the episode. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the road to random. We have done it. We have reached the big time, as you saw in the last episode, the FA Cup first round awaits, and that's what we are going to do today. Before we get there, let's take a look at how things have gone since you were last with us. As you can see, it's gone very, very well. The last episode, that those two games there were just unbelievable. I didn't think it would get better, but we have gone on one hell of a run. A win against Wingate and Finchley. A last-minute winner for Danny Boy there was very, very nice. A hat-trick in the next game for Danny Boy. Two more in the game after that. So that's, what, six goals in three games. Make it seven in four. Another last-minute winner. That's four wins in a row there. He scored again in the next game. Five wins in a row. We destroyed Harrow Borough. Absolutely smashed him. Anthony Price got two free kicks. Danny Boy scored two more against Lewis, who, ironically, actually came up with us last year. They won the playoffs in the end, so Walton Cashel didn't come up. Yes. Screw you, Walton Cashels. Um, Lose came up, and that probably just shows the difference between us and them and how we pushed on, and they probably haven't. A 3 0 win, we destroyed them. Danny Boy got two. Luke McCormick also on the score sheet again. He scored a couple of goals, which is nice. And then the FA Trophy happened, and I'm not quite sure particularly what went wrong. We played against Trafford. Not Old Trafford, not New Trafford, just, just Trafford. I, I don't know if it's just the regular Trafford, I suppose. Um, and we lost 2 1. I mean, I changed the squad a little bit, but Danny Boy didn't perform. Diego Maradona didn't perform. John Tay Smith came off the bench to get a goal, but it wasn't enough. And we lost in the 83rd minute, Aaron Gordon with a goal. They played us. They, they beat us. Danny Boy got a knock, but he recovered enough for the next game. Maldon and Tiptree. That's a, a really weird name. Probably a bit against nature, it sounds like. Um, Danny Boy with a goal in the 41st minute. We're back on the form, back winning. Um, what does this mean for the league table? I think you're guessing it means good. You'd be guessing right. Top of the league, we're having a laugh. Top of the league and we're having a laugh. I can't believe it. We are top of the league. 17 games played, 14 wins, 44 points on the board. We are five points clear at the top of the league with a game in hand over Leighton. Leatherhead have a couple of games in hand, but they are so far behind already. We are destroying this league at the moment. 23 goals in the league for Danny Boy, 30 in all competitions. He's 30 in 20 games so far for Danny Boy. He's been even better, which is incredible, really. Um, today, as we say, FA Cup first round action. And the eagle-eyed viewers from the last shot would have realised who we play. But for anyone that didn't, let's take a look. OK, then, it's the Vanarama National League side, Sutton United. There were bigger ties we could have had. We could have had, obviously, League 1 or League 2 sides, and we didn't get them. I don't know if that's a bad thing, though, because a cup run would be really nice, really good for the finances. We're in a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble, financially. So a cup run will be great to add some money to the coffers. Um, Sutton United, of course, had a cup run themselves last season, obviously, in real life, and um, did well. Took a lot of fans home with them. Um, hopefully, we'll end their cup run here. And that would be great. Looking at their squad, though, they have a few players that may be noticeable to some people. Let's start with Nicky Bailey, who's actually suspended for this game and won't be playing. Nicky Bailey, of course, formerly of Charlton, championship player for most of his career, Millwall and Middlesbrough too. Well-known player, really. Probably the first real well-known player we're coming up against. He's suspended, though, so he won't actually be playing, which is great. Rory Deacon might be a name known to some. Former Arsenal youth graduate, played for Sunderland, Stevenage and Crawley Town. Um, Again, a football league regular, really, for his early stage of his career. So he could be a problem for us on the left wing. Craig Eastman also came through the Arsenal Academy. Had a few loan spells at Millwall and Wickham. 
Colchester, Yeovil, again, football league regular throughout their career, so experience is there for them. Now, Nahemi came through the Southampton Academy, but he had a spell at Villa, which is where I recognise him from. Um, Stockport County, who we destroyed in the last round, which is where he was last season, um, and he's come to Sutton this season, doing all right for them. So he's a youth graduate from the Premier League. Richard Eckersley might be a man known to some. Man not a youth graduate in the mid-2000s, played at Burnley, went out on loan to Plymouth, played in the football leagues as well. And then he went to the MLS and he did very, very well. Played for Toronto, the New York Red Bulls too. He's back in England at Sutton United. As a defender, he could be a decent, decent player for them. So hopefully, Masungu on the left, who's going to be playing on the left wing, can take advantage of some sort of tired legs maybe. I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping. Masungu's got healing hands though, hasn't he? Let's be honest. And finally, um, on their bench, they have the experienced striker, Matt Tubbs. He may, he may ring a bell for some people. Bournemouth, Bolton, lots of teams in his repertoire. His 501 appearances in his career, 214 goals. Obviously, um, he's, he's been in the National League quite a lot lately, so he's not quite football league material anymore, but he's still a very good striker who could who could come off the bench to cause us a problem, really. So this is the side that will play today's game. We are back to the 4-1-2-3 defensive midfield. We had been playing a bit more attacking, but the uh, loss to Trafford really sort of stunted me. So I've gone back to this one. Danny Boy up front, of course, Masungu, Maradona, Rooney, Price, Jones, Leahy and Parrish are the only men in the starting lineup that wasn't here last season. So the mainstays from last season are keeping their place at the moment. Johnny Smith has dropped to the bench. He hasn't been playing very, very well. Masungu can come in and see what he can do. Luke McCormick, who has been playing very well, has to settle for a place on the bench. Although I would think he'll play the next game. There's four games difference between Sutton United and our next game. So I would think McCormick will come in for that one. We are the away side for this, which means we don't get much of a ticket price either, which is disappointing. They're starting smartly. Morrison gets a shot away, and that's just why. That would have been a hell of a start for them. Here's Price. Can we hit back with a goal, maybe? Maradona. Inside to Danny Boy on the turn, and he's hit the crossbar. A fairly even game so far in the opening 20 minutes. Though we are going to have another chance here with Maradona to Danny Boy. Price, bit of space for the advanced playmaker. Jones, into Masungu, can he turn? He can't. Rooney, good short passing again from the mighty Leaf. Jones is very influential in the midfield, actually. He doesn't do what you would think he does. He doesn't really sort of play killer passes. But he keeps the ball rolling very well. Here's Danny Boy, Rooney, Masungu. He's paid the pass and it's Maradona on the return. That's his first goal of the season. Diego Maradona scores. Eckersley is furious. He says it's offside. Let's take a look. Now, I don't know what pansy sort of rules they're playing in the MLS, but I really don't understand how Eckersley believes this is offside. Look, Masungu, that's where he touches the ball. I mean, Jesus Christ. He is well behind the ball, mate. Come on. Their free kick, Morrison over, it's deflected, oh, it's wormed its way in, it deflected, how is it an own goal? No, we've had the better of the game though, so um, I'm hoping we can push on, particularly in the second half, it's up towards Maradona, who's brought it down really well, he's got to the ball, go on Diego, and it's a wonderful cross, Danny Boyd, then he post has scored his 31st of the season, oh, Diego, Diego, Diego. Now, when you're winning at half-time, I've noticed, particularly with this squad, maybe, maybe it's just this club and this save, but when we're winning and it's a tight game, I always say, don't get complacent. We've got to guard against complacency, and it tends to really work well at lots of greens. This is where the Reds come, isn't it? Well, you know, I did ask for that. A couple of Reds, but those are players that are playing very well, Price and Maradona, so you've got to expect that. Let's sort of say, I'm very happy with your performance. Yeah, he's back happy. And Maradona? No, I'm still confused. Maybe it's the language barrier. Maybe. Okay, then. If we can really push on and, and, and get control of this game, I can't see Sutton causing us a problem. We need the next goal. With Danny Boy on the pitch, that could happen at any time, though. This second half has been absolutely boring, which is wonderful. It means we're defending well. We ain't bothered about scoring. Oh, God, here we go. Deacon's free kick over the top. It's Eckersley. It's a foul by Rooney. It's a penalty in the final four minutes. For God's sake. <sighs> four minutes. It's a joke. Right, Smith, what you got? Make yourself a hero. Colin steps up. Colin scores. For God's sake. <sighs> Jamie, Co it's his first goal of the season. Sutton 2, Whiteleaf 2, 
This is the only highlight, really, of the second half. Literally. Oh, my God. Rooney, he's pushed him, apparently. He does that quite a lot. Ah, stupid penalty. Stupid goal. Oh, God. Don't score again. Headed away by Maradona. Deacon. He's crossed it in. Yes, Eve. It's even goal. Maybe that's why Smith didn't save it, because it's even goal. Hmm. 30 seconds. Can we build something? Up towards Masungu. Didn't win anything. And here comes Biamu. Biamu plays for such United in National League. And Ijaha, what is this? Gillette, good tackle. 10 seconds to go. Come on, Danny boy, what you got? Nothing. That's awful. Ah. Oh, 2-2 two -two then at Gander Green Lane. That's a dip. I didn't want to replay. Don't want to replay. For God's sake. Players have upset the odds in achieving that result. Tell them how proud we are. I don't, I don't want to tell them how proud we are when... The fact of the matter is, we should have won that game. We're two on up, with four minutes to go, play it safe. What's Nathan Rooney doing there? Let's be honest. Right, the replay is three days later. I'm going to play it. I'm going to do the episode. It's a Sutton double. Let's bloody have him. Not having this. For the record, if you need any more motivation, guys, Cheltenham, second round draw. I mean, phew, what a tie. Our scout feels that defending set pieces would be good match preparation. Well, you know what? Let's just not concede stupid penalties. Job done. By the way, because obviously uh, Whiteleaf were sort of edited into the game with the um, patch for this save, it means that they haven't really got much of a history on the game. So from last season, we have four players looking to be Whiteleaf's leading league appearance maker. Pasley, Maradona, Pace and Danny Boy. I think Danny Boy is leading it at the moment with 62. So, you know, what a legend. 62 appearances, how many goals? For God's sake, what a legend. And to make it worse, just in time for this game, Sean Waddle, our centre-back, he's on international duty. Scotland under-19s have called him up. Play, they're playing him at left-back. He's a centre-back, for God's sake. But still, an international, I'm very happy with that. Abysmal. His happiness is abysmal. Oh, God. Okay, then this is the side that's going to play. I'll put in the conditions so you can see that, um, obviously... Changes had to be made. Danny Boyd probably could have played, but I'm going to give him a call make a game. Johnny Smith in at left wing can come in for Masungo. Sam Evans comes in for Rooney because that was a stupid mistake to make. He deserves to be dropped. Um, Harry Pace comes in for Waddle, who won't be playing. And, but apart from that, it's mostly the same squad. It means that we can bring on the likes of Jesse Waller Lassen and, well, Nathan Rooney and Danny Boyd off the bench. Hopefully, we won't come to that. Such in United. This time it's a home game, so. You know, ticket prices, look on the bright side. Is it on TV? The answer is no. No, it's not on TV. No FA Cup replays on TV. This is just, come on, football manager, work on it. Even BT Sport have first round replays on. I, interestingly, that's, that, is a, that is a tie that probably be on TV, any it? Workington against Northampton. Wow, fair play. I'm mad now. That's the problem. I'm mad after that last result. And a mad me makes silly decisions. Probably like leaving Danny Boy on the bench. Oh, God, they're freaking. Oh, Eve, what have you done? You've come to me how many times and said, I want to play more. I want to start more games. I've given you a chance. And what the hell was that? Deacon crosses it in. Oh, my God. Keeper. God's sake. Well, I mean, to be fair, Asuka did warn us that they're good from set pieces. We're helping them. 41 minutes in, nothing's happened. We haven't even had a shot on target. Half time, that's it. Danny Boy coming on. Luke McCormack, Luke McCormick, you haven't taken your chance. Danny Boy on, and uh, let's change the instructions up. Screw it. Right, I've changed it up. I've gone on attacking. Team shaped fluid, really high tempo. Let's get at them. Danny Boy, get yourself some goals. Keep us in the FA Cup. I want the second round tie. I want the money. Right, a free kick again for them. Hacked away. All right then. Smith leading a counter attack. Danny Boy. Oh, he skinned him. Go on, Danny Boy. Oh, Danny Boy. <laughs> it's an on goal. What? No. Danny Boy, he skinned him. He's got past him. He took the shot. Oh, all right. Fair enough. It's an on goal. All right. All right. Cool. You, you know what? Danny Boy scored. Or, or helped score. I don't know. Maybe. We're 1-1. That's what matters. Right. We look at different... So oh, for God's sake. 
No, no, here we go. We look at different. Keep the ball. Monacana. Walters. Biamu. Ijahi. We've won the ball back. Okay. Evans to Price. Maradona. Here we go then, Diego. What you got, Diego? Show me. Okay. Jones. That's a good ball though, Maradona to Danny Boy. Danny Boy again. He's turned it around. He's turned it around. Oh, Danny, Danny Boy. It's 2 1 to Whiteleaf. What? Why did I drop him? What was I thinking? Danny Boy's come off the bench and in, what, 20 minutes? Scored two goals. Well, scored one goal and set up an own goal. Fine. But, man, is that good. Right, 10 minutes to go. We need to hold on. I should probably come off attacking, shouldn't I? Um, yeah, screw it. Screw it. Time's flying by. I didn't need to come off attacking. It's working. It's working. Into the final. Don't, don't do it again. Do not do it again to us. Right. Oh, no, no, Scars want it back. Right, we want it back. Just, just pinball it. 30 seconds to go. They're going to score. They're going to score. Bailey. Passley with the interception. This should do it. This should do it. 15 seconds to go. Maradona to Price. 10 seconds. Come on. Count it down. Count it down. No, we should be fine. We should be fine. We are fine. White Leaf 2. Sutton United 1. Oh, Danny boy. Man of the match. He's got to be man of the match. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. Wonderful. What a comeback that was. What? A, and you know what? Where is he? Danny boy. Individual talk for you. I'm very happy. He looks delighted. Well, I'm delighted. FA Cup second round, Cheltenham, bring it on. Mm -hmm.